and not have any subtle lack assumption about the process of having to solve it. Because you actually, I'm not going to put this to bed to you, for you, because you actually do want to solve it. You actually do want to see it. You do want to see where it comes from and feel that release. But you don't want that to feel like a process. In fact, I think it's like a, a pebble effect that my irritability becomes more irritable because I can't see it yet. Yes. Yeah. And that's the lack of assumption in that moment. So if you can remove that, you'll see that there's nothing wrong with looking for the source of it. You'll actually be excited about it, but you won't feel like it's a heavy process. You won't feel like it's a sig that it signifies lack of progress. You won't feel like it's, oh, not this again. Exactly. You, right. I said that in the car coming here. It was so, so, it got so contracted. It got such a burden. And I still don't know what happened that, you know, to the, but it, it got so contracted. I said, again, I mean, when is this going to end? You know, well, that kind see, of feeling. The originally, that's the motivation of your true vibration being already so clarified that it only wants more of itself clarified. So it's actually true passion to want to solve these things. And I see that many people, they get really passionate about solving every little thing that comes up for them. But also what they take with them, again, is their conditioned personality. So it becomes obsessive, or it becomes negatively colored in whatever subtle way. It becomes an indication of non-progress. It becomes not this again, I've had it so many times. And then you miss the abundance in it. You miss the joy in it. You miss that it's actually a sign of growth. It's not I, a I like the homework that you've given us that now redefine, yes. redefine it. It's not, yes. it's not something bad. You've got to be happy because you're feeling bad. Right. I've never seen yeah. it from that point of view. Nice. That's and good. I'm allowed to. Yes, yeah, so absolutely. Because I, I don't want you to suppress the strong desire you have to clarify your vibration. Because that's a good thing. And it's a natural thing. You don't want to suppress that. You don't want to throw out the baby with the bathwater by saying, well, it feels... A little bit like a burden so let's not do it or how can we put this to rest how can I just be with it or how can I just not want to do that anymore because you want to do it that's the you know that's the baby the I, start, water I start to find myself I don't know how to be while I'm feeling this the, exactly so uh, isn't that so eh. beautiful all you want to do is stop yourself you don't want to go on with your life in that moment you want to stop yourself you want to take a shower you want to meditate for a minute or two to completely calm yourself and be in the vibrational purity of I want to solve this, I want to solve this, I want to solve this. But when you're becoming really quiet and present with that sensation, you feel that it's actually your higher self and you being really close together, working working in, in harmony together. That's what it feels like. It's such a passion to clear out any negative vibration you might have. And so in that state of presence and quietude, when you take that moment in those periods when it comes up intensely and it just sort of lingers for a couple of hours or a couple of days or a couple of weeks, and you're like, what is this? At some point, you reach a point of frustration where you're like, what's happened? I don't feel like I did. I don't feel like I want to feel. That's a positive thing. That's, no, that's, not, a that's not judgment. That's my cue to exit the game. Yes. Exit go, the game. Go. So there's, yes. I just exit politely. Yes. Excuse me. I go. E exactly. <laughs> I align. <laughs> yes. You, and then you I, take I whatever is required okay. to align. Uh, uh. But you be really happy about the fact that you're doing it. Don't blame or judge it as non-progress. Just see that this is part of what you want to be doing right now. You want to be clearing it out, and it's actually working. And as soon as you take that moment of quietude, where you sit with yourself and you create the space to feel what's going on, and you start to investigate, what did I think two days ago that started this whole thing? And maybe you can find it immediately. That's okay. Feel deeper into it. And as you feel in the quietude, and you become aware of the passion you have to clarify yourself, and you it, stop infusing that with believing there's a lack, it just becomes this really loving experience with your higher self, where you're both showing you what's occurring. And then you get to really, really subtle lack beliefs that you could not see in any other way. And so you thank your passion and you thank your dedication, but you also thank the fact that you didn't beat yourself up about it feeling the way it felt. So it becomes this holistic experience of passion and investigation. But it's holistic. It feels good. It feels self-loving. It feels like you take care of yourself. You're not beating yourself up about it. You're not going in the downward spiral of self-judgment. You're just really aware that you are a really passionate being that really wants to accelerate and that that's okay and there's timing for everything. So it becomes this balanced view. It, it feels like a knee-jerk um, reaction every single time. Negative emotion, self-judgment. I feel yes. it. Oh, Gustav, 
And it's like, it's always feeling like hard work. And I'm nice. r- so in that moment, ease yourself into neutrality, ease yourself into ease, into okayness. Then you exit the game, take some time to yourself, and you lovingly explore the source of your frustration. Ease yourself first. Don't go in that negative spiral of self-judgment. Say, this is okay, I've had this before, and every time I sit with myself with this, I reach new highs of clarity. So that's all this is going to lead into. This is a stream leading me into the ocean of bliss, bliss, abundance, and absolute joy. So this is a great thing. Ah, it's totally okay. Okay, now I don't want to just stay with the okayness, go back into randomness of life, and have this return again and lower my vibration. I want this to be uprooted. That's part of my passion. That's part of how I'm wired. And I love myself for being so dedicated. So in this ease of knowing that it's quite all right, that I feel the way I feel, and that it's even exciting a little bit because I know where it's leading me. I know it's leading me to greater clarity. I know this is just my soul wanting to burst forth into my conscious mind so that I can know it and I can expand it and I can realign myself, become more humble, become more of service, become more joyful, and become a better creator of my life consciously. So this is all a really exciting thing, actually. Now that I've eased myself into ease, you take the moment for yourself if that's required, to really dig deep in your consciousness. But you do it with ease. You do it with self-kindness. Still with dedication. Dedication does not mean hardship. It means joy. It means self-love. You're so dedicated, you want to find the root of that frustration. Is that not self-love? And when you recognize it as self-passion and self-love for the Creator in all of its forms, then isn't that easeful and not hard work? It's your duty. It's your honor. It's your joy. It's your greatest joy to be able to do that. It's not hard work, no matter how many times you've done it before. Because you know the end result is amazing. Perfect, perfect. I would like to thank you. These two and a half months with you has been absolutely... I've seen you've become so specific, mm. so specific. There's want me to get more specific. Mm. And so that's the what question, frustration is always urging and you And I think do. this this irritation is just like having this little, like someone really like yes. knocking something. Just It's just irritating. Yes. And... Uh, and I'm, I'm glad I can get excited about it. That's good. And I'm looking forward to what, yeah, how you're going to become even more specific. Well, thank you. I'm really going to look forward to how you're going to become. We'll see you next year then. See you next year. Thank you ah. so much. Thanks, though. <laughs>